All right, in this quick demonstration video, I want to show you how to do a figure of eight or cruciate suture. Uh, if you want a longer, more detailed video instruction, I have another video that will go through this in more depth. So we're gonna enter the skin at 90 degrees like we usually do with most suturing techniques. And I want to ensure I'm at the right depth by taking a look down in there. And then we're going to come across at the same side, making sure that we're coming across perfectly perpendicular to the wound itself. We're gonna push down with our needle driver. We're gonna release with, uh, excuse me, push down with our forceps and release with our needle driver. And then we're gonna grab a hold of the tip of that needle and pull it the rest of the way through here. And then I'm actually, uh, going to go ahead and reposition on the needle. I'm going to pull this somewhat of the way through there. And then rather than uh, finishing off there, I'm going to go down about three quarters of a centimeter to one full centimeter and do the exact same thing. All right. Pull through here. And then I want to ensure that uh, Notice how it, it pulls through and lays across like that. And so that's where the name figure of eight or cruciate suture comes from. And so now that we've done this, we can use our needle driver if we need to, to pull it a little bit further through, pull this a little further through here. And then we're going to tie this with a simple instrument tie. So two on the first, grab the tail of the suture, pulling it through nice and snug like this and then just one on the second, that's a surgeon's knot. And then do a, a, a few more throws so that we get a nice secure knot, a couple of square knots tied over the top of that surgeon's knot. And that right there is a cruciate suture. We'll go ahead and grab our scissor here and cut it so that the tails are plenty long but not too long. And there we go. So notice this is a this is a good suturing technique. Uh, in many situations, it's frequently used by obstetricians or other surgeons. Uh, it, it's a good one for hemostasis if there's a decent amount of oozing. But again, like I said, I've got a longer video on this with more detailed instructions. So check that out in the video description. Otherwise, click like, subscribe, and follow along. Thanks.